What's up, YouTube? It's Josh from Card Overflow. I'm joined today by... Uh, I'm Azad Dehim. And what'd you do today? I got uh, top 32 at YCS Niagara, first place after Swiss, uh, with Pure Sky Striker. Nice. Uh, any shout-outs you want to give before we start the next one? Uh, shout-outs to uh, TCS, uh, Team Collector Store. That's my team. Uh, Shout out to uh, Matt McGlynn, uh, Nikki Reardon, Ben Wyman, uh, Blake Funderburg for helping me with the deck. Uh, we've been playing for like a few months. I mean, we've all been testing together for a while, but we've been playing this together for like a couple months. So awesome. uh, definitely a big shout out to them. All right, cool. Uh, we can just get into the deck and then talk about it. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Um, so I played three Ray, of course, uh, three Ash, and then uh, for my last hand trap, I decided three Bell. Uh, before, it this was Ogre, uh, but I switched it up for Bell because uh, Ogre doesn't have application in every matchup. Uh, Bell does. Bell does, like, Bell's, like, average in every matchup, but, like, at least has an application in every matchup, whereas Ogre is either good in a matchup or, like, unplayable in a matchup. So I swapped it out for Bell. Um, and then these are just the only monsters I play. Uh, and then spell cards... Uh, I played three engage, of course. Three multi roll. You have to play three multi roll. I don't want to see anybody. I don't want to see any more deck profiles with two multi rolls. No more of that. I never want to see anybody playing two multi roll again. Play three multi roll. Uh, and then I played three Widow Anchor. <laughs> that was my ramp. Uh, two area zero. Uh, and then the one ofs. I just played these for one ofs. Uh, jamming wave, I might take out. Uh, it's really bad against like a lot of the decks in it now because people are playing like the danger deck and like BA is becoming more popular and Thunder Dragon. This card doesn't do anything again, so I might be taking this out of my deck again. Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet. I'd probably take it out. I want to find room for more hand traps, but uh, again, I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, I played three Twin Twister. Uh, three shared ride, uh, two terraforming, uh, two goods, uh, one metal foes fusion, uh, one rota, one upstar goblin, and then I only played two traps. I played uh, two psalm strike. One of these 100% should have been a solemn warning. Uh, I had somebody uh, search for Denko Seka against me in the normal summon it, and I just had solemn strike face down, and it could have been a warning. Uh, but it was not. So, yes. One of these should 100% be warning. I don't know why I just didn't play warning. Uh, yeah, so that's probably maybe the only changes I'd make to the main deck. Uh, and then extra deck. Let's get out my extra deck. Uh, it was kind of standard. I just played uh, three Kagari, three Shizuku, uh, three Hayate, uh, one Phoenix, one Unicorn, uh, Triple burst. This guy's really good. I make him like the most out of the miscellaneous extra deck monsters. Uh, Boral Sword, uh, Ningrisu. I'm still waiting for the day to summon this. It's been in my deck for like two months. I've never made it. I'm just. I'm still just waiting for that day where I have to out like a Cosmo Forerunner or something. I don't know. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. It's. It hasn't happened yet. Um, and then Clara and Rushka. Uh, that's the extra deck. Clara and Rushka. Uh, I play this one to out Secret Village, but that wasn't even the main reason why I played it. There's a card in my side deck, uh, best card in the best card in my side deck that uh, Clara and Rushka had like. I basically played it for that one side deck card. Um, did it ever come up? What, what yes, about yes, I did. Uh, so my side deck, the side deck card I'm talking about is uh, three Medion, nice. Medion the Time Lord. This is this card won me like four matches against Thunder Dragon. I played against so many Thunder Dragon. You, they just like make their board you have like bell gamma in hand you just don't give a fuck and you just like let them summon everything and then just normal summon medion and clear their whole board and the thing about medion is that it outs any number of colossus whereas like there's like mind control or like lava golem or sphere mode those only out like they don't bl they're not like blankets for like like any board that they can possibly summon medion will out any board that they summon and they also like the only thing, the only time this is bad is if like they keep in, in permanence going first for some reason against pure sky striker, which they'll never actually do because like that deck's inconsistent. So like they're gonna brick on like their impermanence and then just like end on one colossus or something and then they just widow anchor it and then you win. Um, and then 
The rest of my side was three Ogre and three Gamma for the combo decks, because I didn't want to lose to those. Uh, and then for the trap decks, I just played these. I only played against like one true Draco. I didn't really play, I didn't play against any Alter guys. Uh, oh, wow. So that's, these that's did not come in that much. Yeah. I lost in top 32 to Trickstar. These came in. He just uh, attacked for Lily Bell for game and time. So uh, that was right. not fun. Um, yeah, so uh, that was the deck. Cool. Uh, any notable uh, matches other than like the top cup match? Um, there was, uh, well, all of them involved Medion. So uh, there was a lot of, there was probably, I think three times, three times. They had like three Colossus, Titan, and then like, like the Link Monster. There was like three times where I summoned Medion into that and just like put everything back. And then like Medion too, like they can, uh, they can't, they can't kill it. So you can just like leave it there for a turn. So uh, one one match he just had uh, Imperial Order and he was just burning himself. And I had three Medions in my hand, so I just like kept normal summoning, spinning, and then like he take fourteen hundred like every like turn, like yeah. Uh, and then it got to the point where I was just able to like, well he ended up scooping, but because he was like at the point where I could just like normal summon Hayate and like, or summon Hayate and attack for game. Right. Cool. So yes, Medion was very good. Cool, cool. Uh, is there anything you changed about the deck? Um, maybe cut Jamming Wave and then just take out one of these and put in a warning. Uh, maybe change up the side deck a little bit. I'm not 100% sure what cool. I would change yet. I just need, I need to see what the top 32 breakdown is first. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I know there's that FTK deck. Up yes, there. Yeah. yes. Did the FTK, FTK was that I played against the FTK deck. Um, I played against Max Reynolds, who was playing the FTK deck. Uh, it just makes Tomahawk. Well, all Ma what Max did was he just made Tomahawk and like FTK. Yeah, it yeah. was just like a graph loop, which was interesting. Yeah. Um, it I guess just dies to hand traps because uh, I didn't really need to do much to stop it was kind of just like activate ghost ogre on summon sorcerers yeah. nice deck yeah. okay. but yes no it was it was it was a good tournament awesome. yeah cool congratulations and, thank you uh, hope we can see you in more future deck it's great thank you so much